Prepare to meet Kali in hell. The deal was for the diamond. <laughs> nice try, Lao Shea. <laughs> okay. No one's flying the plane. You know how to fly, don't you? No. Do you? <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa. Oh no! I just can't stand cockroaches. Uh oh! Broken <laughs> ah, How did he do that? Hello, wonderful people of the internet. I hope you're doing very well. This is Che. So welcome back. Today we are going to watch one of the movies that has been again proposed to me by my patrons it was voted for me to watch as you know i watched indiana jones the first one the raiders of lost ark and i loved it and the funniest thing for me was actually while watching the movie is when i realized indiana jones is the main character's name i do not know what i was thinking about the whole title i think i did not think about anything Anyway, so for today, we are going to watch the second one that is from 1984, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Okay, I do not know what to think about it, but I think it is going to be again because so the, this gentleman is after all these relics that has been hidden from the world for thousands of years. So I think it is something to do with that some sort of thing. But I'm very excited because I I really enjoyed the last one. It was hilarious to me actually. <laughs> I like a good laugh. It was it was a really good movie. So I have high hopes for this one. And do let me know have have you watched that one? I think most of you have. I'm the odd one out as usual. But if you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I hope you consider doing so as well. And you can find all my full length reactions and my full commentary over at Patreon as always. So, without further ado, let's join to see Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Ah! You never told me you spoke my language, though. Only on special occasions. You found Nuhachi. You know I did. Last night, one of your boys tried to get Nuhachi. You insulted me. This is Willie Scott. This is Indiana Jones. Jones found Nuachi for me. Say, who is this Nuachi? I suggest you give me what you owe me. Open. What is that? The diamond, Lao. The deal was for the diamond. With a champagne. Nuhachi. My pleasure. Here he is. This Nuhachi's a real small guy. <laughs> and now, you give me the diamond. <laughs> Antidote. Poison. You just drink. <laughs> you give it a go. I find another. Good service here. It's not a waiter. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Don't be sad, Doctor Jones. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's funny. <laughs> Short round. 
Club Obi Wan <laughs> from George Lucas. Oh, another kind of girl. We got company. <laughs> oh, I hope you choke. <laughs> I love this uh, the map thing that they always do going from town to city to city and country to country so what's going to happen now he's going in the cargo plane of Lao Shen No, do you? <laughs> fuel. There's no fuel. fuel. No more parachutes! Shorty! Grab him! <laughs> what are they doing? Whoa! Sweet landing! So where are they now? Still in China or somewhere else? Who is this? I can assure you this is not India and the language they are speaking is not in an Indian language. It's one of the languages that I speak. They're asking for help. The lady was saying, please help us, uh, please help us. <laughs> She's saying she lost her son. Please stay with me. The lady is saying, please eat a bit. On the way to Delhi, you will stop at Bangkok. The palace has the power of the dark night. It is that place. Kill my people. What has happened here? Darkness. They came from palace and took Sivalinga. Who is Sivalinga? It's a stone, a sacred stone from a shrine that protects the village. We weren't brought here. Our plane we dropped here. <laughs> we pray to Siva to help us find the stone they took the stone from here ah i've seen stones like the one you lost excuse me i don't understand how one rock could destroy a whole village i was not saying when the sacred stone was taken the village wells dried up and the river turned to sand how do you understand singular then one night there was a fire in the fields he says they stole their children Sankar? <laughs> Little boy escaped from the evil palace. Many other children still there. I can't go to Pankot. I'm a singer. How much are the eyes? Ooh, what big bird! They're giant vampire bats. They're not vampire, but they're bats. Fruit bats. Massive ones actually that you see along the rivers of Sri Lanka. You really <laughs> need <a bear. laughs> I caught him trying to pick my pocket. 
Didn't I short stuff? <laughs> sacred stone with magical properties. I said, cut it out! <laughs> That's it. Pankot Palace. It's in destruction. Huge destruction. Oh god, a huge destruction. <laughs> Hello. I should say you look rather lost, but then I cannot imagine where in the world the three of you would look at home. Dr. Jones, the eminent archaeologist. I remember first hearing your name when I was up at Oxford. Oh. I'm Chatter Lao, Prime Minister to His Highness the Maharaja of Pankot. Welcome to Pankot Palace. This is Captain Bloombert. 11th Puna Rifles. Lombard. And you, sir, are Dr. Jones, I presume. I am. <laughs> you look beautiful. Mr. Law, what do they call the Maharaja's wife? His Highness has not mm -hmm. yet taken the wife. His Supreme Highness, the Maharaja of Panko, Zalim Singh. Oh, it's a seek. Ah! It's a little boy. That's the Maharaja. <laughs> Kid. Why oh. do you serve a python? Surprise. Ooh. Give me your hat. Why? Because I'm going to puke in it. Yeah. The also told us Pankot Palace had taken some. Uh, do you have anything simple, like soup? A sacred rock. <laughs> you see, Captain? A rock. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> Villager's rock and the old legend of the Shankara stone. Stories of the Thuggy Cult. I thought the stories were told to frighten children. The Thuggy Cult was once real and did of unspeakable things. This will never happen again in my kingdom. Now what? Monkey head! Monkey brains! <laughs> So as a scientist, you do a lot of research? Always. And what sort of research would you do on me? Whether you have a brain, maybe? <laughs> I'm not that easy. I'm not that easy either. You'll be back over here in five minutes. Let's see. Dr. Jones, please don't give up. No, not in five minutes, please. Kid can't hear it. This is the night I slipped right through your fingers. I love her confidence. Captain <laughs> Jones, you're ripped. Oh, Indy. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that script full of footsteps of Shiva. That's what it means. Trains, truth. Stay behind me, short round. <laughs> Indy! Oh, she 
is the loud one, eh? <laughs> yeah, there's something on the ground. Who has different fortune cookies? Oh no! I just can't stand cockroaches. The centipedes. Stop. Look, just stand up against the wall, will you? <laughs> to know really <laughs> brain mantis don't do anything to you it just goes, ah! the other right your other right <laughs> sorry <Got it>! <laughs> 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 where are they heading all the time that no! oh no this is a human sacrifice ah! how did he do that you can't just walk it oh still alive What is that now? That's the rock they took from the village. Ah, one of the three. The legend says when the rocks are brought together, the diamonds inside them will glow. Diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds. I want you two to stay up here and keep quiet. Why? Where are you going? Down there. Not leaving here without the stones. <laughs> I don't think touching them like that will be a good idea. Uh -oh. You better make a move first. They dig for the gems to support our cause. They also search for the last two stones. Soon we will have all the five Shankra stones. Alright. Ah, the blood! Get it out!
So he's possessed now? Kalima protects us. We pledge our devotion to her. Uh oh. And blood. I'm not gonna have anything nice to say about this place when I get back. Ima. Come. He is to do it. That's one thing she's good at screaming. No, no, no! Because he has drunk their blood as well. To get out, you must take the left tunnel. Thank you. Again, he didn't go left. Uh oh. Watch it. Yes, 
so fast. This is like never ending story. You want the stones? Let them go! Drop them, Dr. Jones! They will be found! Oh, shit. Go on. Go. Shorty! Latsu Tanta! Hello, lady, we go for a ride! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh! Put out of the way! <laughs> now you can see the magic of the rock. Hello friends, so welcome back. I just watched Indiana Jones and the the Temple of Doom. I was super surprised. Okay, first of all, it's a movie. Actually, it's very different from the first movie that I watched, Indiana Jones. This one is so fast-paced and there's so much action happening one after the other, one after the other. It's like impossible drama, obviously. It's <laughs> some were really funny, some were like, I was like, whoa, it's very overwhelming to watch this one. But I was extremely surprised first when they went to this village in India and the people were talking in a language that's not from India. So it's like the people are definitely not from India and then I understood everything they said. That's why I was like, huh? Why, why are these people made to dress up and look like he from India? <laughs> but in the end, actually where they went to the, the, the Maharaja's temple and they, that whole thing that was happening that definitely was India because they were speaking in their own languages but which i don't understand but it, it was like i understood everything when they went to the villages like okay they are crying for their kids their sons are like lost and things like that that was extremely surprising i had no idea this is in this movie i had no idea this movie was made in this place in the first place crazy but <laughs> The lady was really annoying. I think her whole character is supposed to be annoying, so she really played it well. It was like really annoying talking about oh, her, her glamorous life <laughs> while going through all the crap that was really funny actually. She was absolutely annoying. I don't understand what's the whole thing. So Indiana Jones is supposed to be an archaeologist. Then he can speak all these random languages he's a polyglot nobody mentions that but anyway so I I found the <laughs> whole thing they set up in that Indian temple uh, where after 100 years they were just doing this whole procession not a procession like offering to Kali goddess Kali or the one of the avatars of us and then um, like the whole hype they built there it's quite dramatic and obviously it's not going to happen in india i'm sure <laughs> but it was quite funny actually it was really funny so this is i think this is humor but a lot of action 
definitely a ton of action so now i watched the first indiana jones one and this is the second one actually this is in my opinion i think i have enjoyed the first one much better because i felt like the pace and everything that was happening was uh, my, uh, the storyline was good as well in my opinion i prefer that compared to the second one but the second one they had done a ton of work and i think a lot of special effects they had used some were like really funny when the water was coming out of that the gush of water was coming out of the hole of the rock face and you could clearly see the effects <laughs> but come on this is 1984 right I, I think I think they they tried to do something different. I think Lord George Lucas and Spielberg. I think the funny things come from Spielberg and because he's he has this touch of uh, humor in his movies, whatever the ones that I've watched. So nevertheless, I actually enjoy the movie. That's for sure. If you enjoyed, do let me know which one was your favorite. So I'm I'm yet to watch the last one, which will be coming up very soon as well. So, so far from the two I've watched, I prefer the first one, The Raiders of the Lost Ark. I thought it's original. It was uh, very funny, actually. Uh, funnier than this one for me. But uh, I would like to hear your thoughts. So leave a comment. And thank you so much for joining me today to watch this one. I hope you have a lovely day. YouTube back in analytics shows me that sadly, only 5-6% to of my viewers watch my videos till the end. That includes all my long and detailed outros that have my quotes, takeaways and my movie commentary. So moving forward, all my YouTube reactions will have much shorter outros and any of you who are interested can watch the full length outro along with my full length movie reaction over on my Patreon page. To clarify to everybody. A full-length movie reaction means a full movie runs behind in the background while I react to the entire thing. Therefore, it's a combination of the full movie along with my full reaction to it. There are no heavy editing in my full-length reactions like you see on the YouTube videos because there are no copyright issues. The movie is not mirrored, no cuts. All the dialogue and the music is available along with all the scenes of the movies which are sometimes missing on the YouTube videos again due to copyright issues. Any of you who enjoy my videos over here will definitely like my videos over at Patreon where the content is completely ad free and you have early access and also you get to vote for what movies I should watch next. So this is just an update for you. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are.